Oh, hi there. Are you not the nerd that you wish you could be? Does the idea of pimping out your PC make you quiver with anticipation? Well, you need our top six computer tips to help release your inner geek. Let's get started. Now most people know that when you start your computer up, a whole bunch of computer programs start up at the same time. But what most people don't know is that you can actually check which of those hidden programs are starting at startup and selectively disable them from starting. And that speeds things up incredibly. Okay, so obviously I'm just going to the start bar and I'm typing msconfig, M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. And you can see there that the system configuration box comes up. If I click on the startup tab, then I can see all of those items, and I'm just expanding that, all of the items that start when my computer starts up. But I really don't want all of this nonsense starting. It's in the program maker's interest to get those all starting. So I disable everything, and I go back and find the one thing that I want, which is my antivirus. And then I just hit OK. So obviously you need to speak to your IT people before trying this at work. To do this with Windows XP, you go Start, you click on the Run button, and then you type in msconfig into the Run dialog box that opens, and it's much the same from there. And this can save you thousands of dollars because of course you don't need to buy a new PC because you should find that it speeds things up dramatically. Tip number two is to use Mozilla Firefox to browse the net. You can see I'm using tabbed browsing by clicking on links with the scroll wheel of my mouse. But the best thing about Firefox is the ability to customize it with add-on extension programs. Now we're looking here at the Sydney Morning Herald website using Internet Explorer. And notice that there's a large ad which features prominently on the page and slows down your load speeds. You'll also notice as I scroll down you can see another ad and down further another one. Firefox allows you to strip the ad people of their power. What I'll do is install an add-on called Adblock Plus. So to do that, I click on Tools, then Add-ons, then Get Add-ons. Then I type in Adblock Plus and search for that. Now I click to install and wait for Firefox to restart. Now after Firefox restarts, I'm going to next need to choose an ad list. I use EasyList USA and that seems to be the one that works best for me. Now if we load up the Sydney Morning Herald website again, you'll notice that there are no ads. And that goes for pretty much all websites on the internet, which is a geek dream. The next essential add-on I would recommend is Forecast Fox. It displays the current and forecast weather in the status bar at the bottom of the Firefox window. When you're searching for it, just remember that Forecast Fox is one word, and then install it just like we did the last one. So to configure it, first you start by searching for your city code. Select your city. And then you can configure the units of measurement, as well as other options. And very shortly you'll be able to impress everyone with your pimped out PC with the weather constantly on your web browser. And here's the last essential Firefox add-on. It's called Customize Google. And what it allows you to do is change how Google appears in your browser. So the best part about it is that you can use it to get rid of all of those sponsored results when you perform a Google search. So let's install that. And when you search for it, just remember that Customize Google is one word. Aside from that, install it just like you did the last two add-ons. And then finally, when Firefox restarts, you can click on Tools, then Customize Google Options, and you can choose to remove ads from the web search results. And presto, no more sponsored results. Now the next top geek tip is for all you badass mofo geeks out there who don't have time to separately check their email and the news and the stocks and the weather, all the different websites. So the first thing you need to do is point your browser to www.igoogle.com. Now iGoogle is a service provided by Google that allows you to tailor what you see when you surf to google.com on your computer. And what it does is to aggregate a whole bunch of different content of your choice onto one page. Now these little boxes you see here are called gadgets. 
and you can choose from thousands of different gadgets that do different things like display your email inbox or the latest news headlines or even showing the status of your eBay auction watch list. And you can see here this gadget displays the most viewed YouTube videos of the day. Now the beauty of this service is that immediately when I log on to google.com I can see all the things I'm interested in at once. Now you do need to sign up to a free Google account in order to save your home page but you can still see what your page will look like before you sign in if you just want to set it up. Give it a try. And the next tip is to download VLC Media Player from www.videoland.org. It's a free open source program for playing video on your computer. Now unlike other media players, this one can play pretty much any type of video file you can throw at it. It's also very light on memory usage and highly customizable. So if you're watching an old classic film on your computer or streaming a video from your PC onto a widescreen plasma TV, you can easily adjust the aspect ratio of the video and you can even easily crop the video if you want to zoom in closer. All the instructors at our organization use VLC Media Player to play video files with hassle-free viewing. Definitely good value. Our fifth tip is to check out TED.com. TED began in the 1980s as a conference held in the US, bringing experts together from the areas of technology, entertainment and design. These days TED brings the world's leading thinkers and doers and challenges them to give the talk of their lives in 18 minutes. There are more than 200 talks available and they're free to be shared and reposted, so there's heaps of food for thought. Although you can find all sorts of interesting speakers on YouTube, the beauty of TED.com is that you don't have to wade through thousands of pages of pimply teenagers whinging about Britney into their webcams first. And you can see here, I have access to talk by the renowned psychologist Martin Seligman. Other favourites include Mark Bittman on what's wrong with what we eat and Ken Robinson on the importance of creativity in education. Okay, so you know the drill. You've just created an amazing looking document using PowerPoint, but now you need to output it in a way that you can share easily. What you can do is you can download Cute PDF Writer from cutepdf.com and it allows you to print to PDF file for free. So I'll just go down to print, I'll hit print, and instead of choosing my normal printer, I'll choose Cute PDF Writer as the printer. And a dialog box pops up and asks me where I want to save the PDF file. So I can just save it onto my desktop. And there it is, saved onto my desktop. So I'll just double click on it. And here we have the PDF file that's outputted. Brilliant. And it's free. <laughs>